Dear doctors, we all know primarily diabetes is a lifestyle disease and has a clear pre-diabetic phase. Sedentary life and high calorie nutrient deficient or nutrient excess diet leading to change in the body composition, fat mass lean mass ratio and omega 3 to 6 ratio at cellular level, toxin exposure of varying nature and associated derailment in immune and hormone functions of the body is the root cause of lifestyle diseases. Lifestyle disease like diabetes usually comes not alone but as a disease package or syndrome like metabolic syndrome comprising diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high triglycerides, fatty liver, overweight, etc. And finally, ending up as organ failures like heart failure, kidney failure, liver failure, etc. Correcting the derailed lifestyle and body composition at cell level is the safest and most effective treatment method for overcoming lifestyle diseases, including diabetes and the metabolic syndrome. But in general, we try to treat ease symptoms or signs like high blood pressure, blood sugar, cholesterol, triglycerides, fatty liver, etc. with one or more drugs. Anything other than a nutrient including drugs taken as medication or a nutrient in excess quantity is considered a toxin by the body and will increase the workload of the immune system and excretory organs of the body. A patient of ours or a close relative or we ourselves when diagnosed with diabetes, we start medication. When our BP increases to 138 per 80, we start an antihypertensive or when we are diagnosed with elevated cholesterol or triglyceride, we start statins and we may add a low-dose aspirin as a blood thinner to escape from heart attack and stroke. When diagnosed with fatty liver, we may start deoxycholine. The list of drugs we use for ourselves and prescribe to our patients often to take lifelong instead of lifestyle correction damages our blood vessels weakens our immune system, derail our hormone functions, and damages our excretory organs like liver and kidney. In general, when a doctor himself or herself is diagnosed with diabetes and start taking drugs or insulin regularly, rather than correcting the derailed lifestyle, the excuse is lack of time or activity and finding healthy food due to the busy work schedule. If the doctor himself is finding solace in drugs rather than the root cause correction, how can he or she motivate the patient for correcting the root cause, which is the lifestyle? Such doctors will do the same for their patients to prescribe the drugs and motivate them to take it regularly and treat complications with more drugs and surgical interventions rather than promoting lifestyle corrections. In our medical education, we give importance to studying the signs and symptoms of diseases and investigation procedures to reach a diagnosis. We learn how to use drugs or surgery. The most important aspect of health, nutrition and physical activity has been ignored in the curriculum and in the practice of modern medical doctors which is the reason for the increased incidence of diabetes and associated health issues, which reduces the productivity of the individual, quality of life, and is a social and economic burden on the family and the nation. Now, with increased understanding on the root cause of many chronic diseases as lifestyle factors, and the safety, effectiveness, and economy of lifestyle corrections for prevention, treatment and prevention of recurrence of lifestyle diseases over drugs and surgical interventions. We should incorporate lifestyle correction as a treatment method 
in our modern medicine curriculum and practice. This can make a revolution in the healthcare sector and is crucial for our nation's large and young population. The Revolution Program is a clinically monitored lifestyle correction program developed based on the observations of the Greek physician Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine, who is attributed to the words, if he could give every individual the right amount of nourishment and exercise, not too little, not too much, we could have found the safest way to health. Considering the modern industrialized living speci special importance has been given to reducing the toxin entering the body as preservative, colors, taste makers, etc. in food, body care and cosmetic support in care. The doctors should become an example for the public by maintaining optimal lifestyle, maintaining optimal body weight and optimal health without chronic medications for controlling lifestyle diseases. Then only we can motivate the public and our patient to correct their lifestyle, protect them from diseases, and make our nation and the world at large healthy and prosperous.